Aries, welcome to my channel and today we are doing your finance and career reading for January 2020. Hope you had a very good year, a good year end. So happy new year once again. And let's see what's happening in finance and career uh, for Aries for the month of January. Now this is for the star sign of Aries. So it could be, you could be an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, or Venus, okay? All right, so here you go. How does money look like for my Aries? Let's see. All right. So let's see some tarot before I we read further. Just to clarify. So my Aries. Challenges. Way forward and the outcome for January. Aries, as we see, you know, what you're leaving behind in 2019 is your uh, way of doing things. And this came in your general reading too. This this feeling, this awakening, and this was the theme in your general reading, which, you know, is just up. And uh, this is about seeing things uh, differently, doing things differently. And this is exactly the energy that is coming here too. This is what you're leaving behind in 2019. So you're changing certain ways in uh, your financial planning. You're, you're changing maybe your financial planning or you're uh, going forward with uh, something new, okay? A different approach. That is what you plan to do now. So you things have been stuck in 2019 financially. I don't think it was a very rewarding year. So... Yeah, you've matured. You've matured indeed, and uh, you know better now. Uh, maybe you're thinking that's the reason you're thinking of doing things differently, okay? And uh, what you don't see coming towards you is, uh, you know, you could be missing out on some details, okay? So with the five of fire here, and uh, there is this privileged lady here. So if you're working somewhere, or if, if you are in a job, especially if you're in a job, you could have somebody, you could be doing the hard work and somebody else could be getting the fruits of it, okay? Somebody else is privileged for your hard work. You, you have to put maximum effort, but somebody else is taking the laurels. Even at, in business, I see that. So... Goal completion could be a challenge this month. There could be some targets set. And uh, somewhere you might feel uh, there's there's a kind of partiality wherever you're working that, uh, you know, you're given more responsibility. And whereas uh, the accolades or the name fame goes to somebody else. Okay, this could be uh, what is what you don't know, but this this could be coming towards you. And also, if you are into any new project or anything of that kind, anything new, just pay attention to the details because you might lose out on or you might skip certain details which uh, could uh, create problems later. Somebody else could be nitpicking on those details and getting their name, okay? So this, this is the kind of energy of... Uh, that you could have to face. Also, your challenge for this month that I see is uh, could be something in the domestic front. There could be more expenses in the domestic front than earning. There could be something for some of you. It could be that you've been planning to buy a house or trying to get a mortgage and you're missing out on some paperwork or 
something is not in place, you're trying to do things, but uh, it is about, uh, you know, with the two of pentacles here, I feel uh, this is something to do with, uh, you know, you have the two of pentacles here, and this is card number 20, so it's about number two. So this is about two things. So there, there could be, you could be stretched in two different areas. You want to start something, you want to do some work, you want to start on with some new project or something like that. But uh, what is coming towards you is, uh, you know, too many things going on. Maybe at the home front, maybe something to do with family. Something starts there and you need to spend a lot of money or time there. So you're not able to balance, you know, so maybe you have to make a decision between work and uh, personal uh, stuff. But there is definitely a kind of uh, balancing, balancing going on. When you want to focus on work, there could be something else trying to pull you towards something which is also critical. But that could be something to do with uh, your home, family, uh, where you could have to, might have to spend more. You, have to, you might have to spend more time. You might have to spend more money. You're not seeing it, but this is the challenge this month. So balancing between home and work could be a challenge this month. Also, uh, what you should do as an advice from Tarot, you firstly, I would like to point out, you have both the cards um, as card number 15. So 1515, that's, that's uh, like, you know, means six, card number six. So six is all about um, balance. It is all about spiritual awakening, seeing things from a different way. Also, one five is a number, uh, which means it, it resonates two energies. One, which means going solo. It's about yourself. Five means change. And you're repeating this, one five, one five. So this could mean there could be certain changes that you need to make in you. And uh, also what the advice from the tarot or the best possible advice is that don't feel entrapped in this, okay? Don't feel this, uh, don't, don't take this additional responsibility because I see some additional responsibilities coming towards you. You could be stretched in two areas, work and home, work and family, some conflicts uh, here and there. Also with a five of fire here, there could be, you know, somebody else taking the name fame or you feel somebody else is given more importance, whereas you're doing the hard work. Or it could also be that you're missing out on certain points or you're miss, you've missed out a fine print in a contract that could create problem later. So such kind of things. So pay attention to partnerships. Pay attention to, uh, you know, those uh, don't feel trapped. Okay, the devil card is here. So this is about your ego. Don't feel trapped. Don't feel that they those problems are there and you know you cannot move forward because of those problems. Don't don't overthink. Don't overthink and overkill things. And also uh, don't have negative thoughts because this is the devil energy. You might have negative thoughts. You might feel I'm not good enough, or you might feel destructive that I'm gonna quit my job, or you might feel there are more expenses than I can handle. I cannot earn that much. So such kind of things. Also, pay attention. The lover's card is here. So pay attention to uh, your choices and also to your partnerships. So it is about choices. Choose wisely. That's when it comes to finance decisions and work. Pay attention to details and choose wisely. What is coming towards you, Aries, is... This mindset, four of earth is here. So this is about wealth. This is good wealth. And again, you have repeat numbers because you have four of earth and you have card number 22, which is again four. So this is about, for, so for, your challenge was two, but your outcome is four. So this, this means, and also I, I have so many repeats when it comes to numbers. Let me show you this. What you're leaving behind is card number 12 and 5. So that makes uh, 17, okay, which is 8. Now, when it comes to your uh, things that is unknown to you and what is coming towards you and you're not aware of, again, you have 5 and 12. 
So that again comes to eight. Okay. Then in your challenge, you have two. Okay. Again, repeat. And your outcome, you have four. So from eight, you're actually going down to four. So talking about stability. So instead of being stuck, eight is infinite. Eight is Saturn. Four is the not note. Four is your sudden luck, sudden breakthrough. So that is what is coming towards you. Four of earth. This is wealth, but this is like a careful mindset. This is about wealth from by savings, not by earning, not by hitting that pot of gold, but by careful savings, by careful investments, by intelligent decisions in money. So be careful of where you're spending money. Also, I see the official person here. So this could mean be careful with any uh, court matters, any documents that you sign, any contracts that you sign. So just pay attention to them. Go slow, go conservative. Don't have to take un unnecessary uh, risks. And if you can do that, and also this uh, means you wise business decisions for a fourth. You're careful, you're slow. You're steady, but you're careful. So just continue to be careful because if you can pay attention to details and don't think that you're getting pulled everywhere and there's too much for you to handle, don't have such negative mindsets. Rather, focus on your partnerships. Choose wisely what you want to focus on one thing at a time. Don't think very negative and so you will get stability. You will have savings coming towards you. You can save, okay? There will be expenses, but you can save. But the savings will come with your mindset. Be careful and be conservative when it comes to spending money. Think twice before you say yes to any agreement, any partnership, because I see something good coming your way, but something good, but slow. Okay? And careful. So be steady in your investments. Be careful with your investments and also be, uh, you know, save more. Try to save, spend less, save more. If possible, put all your spending for the coming month. Okay, make, make uh, think twice before you spend a single penny. Uh, because there could be some expenses, rising expenses coming towards you which you're not aware of. So just be careful. So don't don't splurge. Is that's, that's what I can tell you. All right, so let's see two messages for you, Aries, when it comes to finance and career for 2020 and... If you are looking for a new job or a promotion, your boss could be coming in help, official person. So you can have somebody at office, somebody who is senior to you, uh, helping you or coming to your, um, helping you in growing. So have a good relationship with your authorities. Uh, some colleague uh, might try to, you know, take advantage of you with the privileged lady there. But don't worry, your boss is there to support you. Your superiors will support you. All right, so two messages for my Aries. You have the time to shine. This is the time to create a resonance for golden opportunities. Told you, your boss is going to come for your help or help you grow. So this is the time. You will get good opportunities. Just wait, okay? And don't have this negative mindset. So just wait. And also, you have achievements. So you can win the award, accolade, or contract. So, yeah, this is the time when you can get what you're looking for. You can get uh, awards. You can get new contracts. But just stay strong. There are rising exp expenses. Don't be negative. Don't get pulled. There are things happening abruptly. But just stay strong and be careful. Be wise in your spending. And whenever you're spending... Think twice before you spend. Read every document. Sign every contract after reading. Don't take any risk. Be conservative. Okay? All right. So, Aries, this was your finance and career reading for the month of January 2020. Hope you have a wonderful month. And I'll be back with more videos to throw more insight to your life. And so, take care. Once again, a very happy new year. I'll see you later. Bye.